I have the wings on and the engine nacelles, the main landing gear struts, <clears throat> and I have the seams taped up to uh, putty them. As you can see, there's some nice gaps here and there. <clears throat> and they have to be dealt with before I move on. Bottom and top. Yeah, so I have the uh, putty laid down in several spots to even out uneven places and fill in some seams and some gaps here and there. There we go. There are some serious gaps still that I have to address. But I'm just going to do a few at a time. I'll tackle these two gaps later. There's another one right there. This one is where the engine nacelle meets the wing. This is where the wing meets the fuselage. It's the wing meeting the nacelle. Yeah, so... You know, this model's a good-looking model as far as uh, detail and um, just overall generality there's not a lot of flash I had to deal with however there is fitting issues unfortunately you know, I'm gonna just do the best I can with these gaps and seams <clears throat> they don't come out perfect that's okay I'm not entering any contests, as I've said several times before. Okay, the tires, I have the black on. This is NATO black on the tires themselves. <clears throat> the uh, wheels are going to be flat aluminum. And then we'll do a little, little weathering on them. So, right there. Right there. For ease of painting. And we'll just very carefully very carefully as in try not to hit the black tire. <clears throat> There's the flat aluminum on one side here of this wheel. Okay.
one thing to remember when you're doing wheels like this or anything small <clears throat> excuse me like this where you're using a small brush um, probably the most important thing is to make sure you have not had a bunch of sugar or coffee or anything like that I know because I've made that mistake and there's absolutely no way I could keep my hand steady enough to do something like this okay and there's the front wheel now we let that dry and we'll do the back side of the wheels and let's see the other thing I've been working on is the propellers I'm going to do the hubs of these propellers right now in the same flat aluminum Another thing that has to be done, since I have the flat aluminum paint out, is the front landing gear strut, this part here, I painted it with NATO black and so I'm going to go through and a little dry brushing with this flat aluminum on it. Well, those are good enough right there. Do a little bit on the inside of the wheel well here. about all I'm going to do there. I'm not going to do any heavy weathering on the inside of this thing, but <clears throat> just a touch, just to give it a little definition. All right. Okay. So here we are. The black paint you see on here is just basically black paint, flat black paint, and I used it on all the areas that I had sanded and puttied and sanded on seams and gaps and I've done that and it's it's dried now for several days and I went over it and sanded it a little bit 
and uh, I wanted to see how it uh, all blended together there as far as the seams go and it, I think it came out pretty good so and it's nice to see that I got the balance um, the fishing weights I put in here are just right holding it down just right so it's not a tail dryer and so I have most of the model painted in the flat aluminum Here's a view of the bottom side. There's some touch-up that has to be done here and there. <clears throat> All the wheels are done as well. The engine cowlings are finished pretty much. I have to add a little more paint to this one. That's going to go on right there. Like so. The propellers, I gotta do the yellow tips on the propellers still, so I got out my yellow paint and I'm ready to do that. So I'll go ahead and do that now and then we'll uh, stick the propellers on and the tires and we'll see how it looks. So what I have here is Tamiya Sky Blue X14. Um, the tail of this particular airplane I'm building, it says Insignia Blue for the tail. But um, there are no color pictures that I've found, so this is going to have to do. I think it'll look just fine. So I have to paint that, and then the decals, of course, after that, so... Okay, I have the anti-glare painted on, the nose and the engines, the flat aluminum is over the entire surface now, wheels are on, Next is just a touch more painting I gotta do on the aluminum here on the one side and then the propellers. The propellers are just about done. <clears throat> The propellers all dried up, and I mean all painted up, and they're drying right now. I have some decals to put on them, but I'm gonna as soon as these dry up completely, I'm going to cut them off these little sprue pieces and um, clean them up a bit where the sprues attached, paint those spots. I have some decals to put on them. The main thing I have left to do, the biggest thing I have left to do, is to paint the tail section. The blue. The rudder here is going to get blue. Painted blue. Right here. So that'll be next. <clears throat> oh, let's see. I have the... Machine guns put in the nose, propellers are on, antennas on, um, I have begun painting the tail, 
glue. Need to put another coat on. <clears throat> Once I get that other coat on, tail, and it's dried up, I'll give this model a clear coat. And then the decals will come down on it. I started doing a little smoke around the engines here in some places. So yeah, this thing is uh, starting to look like an airplane now, huh? Well, now it's time to start putting some decals on. And we're going to start with top portions of the aircraft. <clears throat> and there are some rectangular markings here that go on top of the wings. Um, let's see. These guys right here are going to go up on top here. There's two different sizes. Nineteen and twenty. Nineteen is the longer version, or longer one, and twenty is the shorter one. So, <clears throat> the placement of these decals is a little on the vague side. Uh, they go somewhere right in there. Try to clean all the. They're old and they have this gunk on them. So I'm going to try and clean them up a bit. Something like right there. Same with this one. Try and clean it up a bit if we can. They're dirty. I don't know how they got dirty, but they're dirty looking. It's like the clear film on them is not really that clear. That looks better. Okay, and let's bring it over this way a bit. Like that. Something like that. Okay. There's those two. All right. <clears throat> now I'll proceed to the other All side. Right. At the top of the airplane, I have decals laid down on top of the wings that are common to both uh, versions and um, now we're going to move on to um, decals that are more specific perhaps there's a couple more that are common um, but um, maybe I'll move on well, you know maybe I'll just finish up uh, in no particular order so anyway they're coming along pretty good so far the decals are old and <clears throat> have a lot of weird film on them and kind of dirty I had to clean them up as I put them on but they're laying down okay <clears throat> you can see a little discoloration in them the carrier film just a slightly darker 
tint of aluminum gray color in between the black lines. Okay, um, the blue I ended up putting on the tail is not exactly insignia blue, but it's the blue I chose. Originally I was going to use a flat, or uh, just blue from uh, Tamiya, and um, it was a gloss blue, and I started putting it on, I just didn't like the way it looked. So I ended up putting on this. Mia medium blue XF18. It's kind of a grayish blue, but I think it looks fine. Yeah, so anyway, um, decals are coming on fine so far. And I'm just going to continue on adding decals to this thing. All right. Well, as of right now, I have all the decals on. For this particular version most of the decals go on I've well have gone on top and on the sides and um, the propellers have got the decals on the propeller those are the trickiest to put on but they're on <clears throat> so now I just have to kind of let the decals set up dry and uh, I will not touch them for about an hour or so. Then I'll give them all a dose of the um, Microsol. And uh, we'll just let them completely dry overnight before we touch them again. And hopefully in the morning... Um, or sometime tomorrow when I get to this model again. Uh, they'll be all settled down and dried and conform to the uh, shape of the model. All right, <clears throat> so all that's left to do on this model is a touch of, uh, some a little bit of touch-up painting on the underside. The um, Gunner's, uh, what, are, what is it called? The gun sight assembly goes in this back portion here. And then a canopy goes out over that. And then there's the main canopy that goes over this. I still have to paint those canopies to match the color of the airplane. So There's still some stuff to do. But um, that'll be in the next episode. This is all I'm doing for this particular episode. And... Um, Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.